uh, set up here. So in our Hyper-V Manager, we want to go to uh, Virtual Network Settings first. And uh, I've got dual monitor here, so let me slide over to my other screen. In the Virtual Network Manager, we want to make sure that we set up a new network um, on the internal uh, network connection. So I've done that already. It's called LAN. Basically, we just click Add and then change the name from new virtual network to LAN, local area network. And again, making sure that it's on the internal network and not the external. Click OK there. And now that I have my LAN virtual network set up, I can right click on the virtual machine that I want to configure and choose settings. And again, unfortunately, that popped up on the other screen, so we'll go back over there. And here we have the legacy network adapter, which again, I've already configured for LAN, but initially it was set to private network. So once you've changed that to LAN, you can click OK. And then back in Hyper-V Manager, you can go back into that resource. But let me show you one more time from a different virtual machine. If we right click and choose settings, which by the way, it's not a bad idea if you're going to be doing this for the rest of the week to go ahead and change the settings of each one of the virtual machines now so you don't have to think about it later on. So we're just going to go to Legacy Network Adapter, change it from Private to LAN, and click OK. And then uh, once we connect to that machine, then we can go to the Start menu, right click on Computer, and choose Properties. In the Properties window, we're going to click on Remote Settings. And then we're going to make sure that we change it from don't allow net, uh, remote connections to this computer to allow remote connections to this computer. And in this environment, we can leave this allow connections only from computers running remote desktop with uh, network level authentication. Um, but in other scenarios uh, outside of this classroom, you might want to uncheck that checkbox to make sure anybody can connect. But here, we are running network level authentication, so we can just click OK. And now that we've changed that, uh, we should be able to close our connection using the virtual machine connection. And then uh, come over here to our start menu. And from all programs, accessories, we can run remote desktop. <clears throat> and then we just type the name of our server, in this case London. And we get a nice connection window. The first time you do this, it won't have administrator in there already, but I've already connected to this thing. So uh, when you first connect, it'll say username and password. So for our purposes here in class, it's just our normal lab password. And we're going to say, don't ever ask me this again, and say yes. And now we are connected to our virtual machine. And when we go full screen, it uses the entire screen and not just a little, you know, small window in the middle of the screen. Also, now we can copy and paste into and out of this remote desktop onto our go to my PC machine and then you can drag and drop from go to my PC to your local machine wherever you're sitting now. Alright, so that's how we connect our virtual machines to the local network.